In this video, another part of our Awesome Cycles website series, we're going to go ahead and configure the new member directory module within .NET Nuke version 6.2. Now, I'm currently logged into our Awesome Cycles website with the administrator account, and we already have the community page created in previous videos as part of this series. Now, currently that page is only visible to administrators. We're going to in a future video enable that page to be visible to all users once we've got the page configured. So what we need to do here is we want to add that member directory module into the page over on the right side of the page into the right pane. So we're going to do that by mousing over the modules menu, choosing from the category drop down list, choose all categories, and in the module drop down list we're going to choose the member directory. Now we can go ahead and give that module a title if we wish. We can also control the visibility. I'm going to leave both of those as they are set by default. But I am going to choose the pane location by choosing the right pane. We'll simply click on Add Module, and that will add the member directory module there to the right side of the page. Now you'll notice that this brings up a couple of things. We have a list of users on the website, in which we currently have two. We also have a search box there. Now, on the community page here, we don't want to provide the, the ability for users to search the member directory. We just want to provide a list of members. Now, in a future video, we may create another page that allows people to go through and utilize the search functionality in the member directory. So what we're going to do in order to turn off the search is we're going to go to the Manage button for that particular module, and we're going to choose the Settings option. Now, when we go to the Settings, over on the fourth tab, the Member Directory Settings tab, we have a number of templates that we can modify here. We're going to come back and modify those templates in a moment, but what we're going to do first is go into the search settings and uncheck the display search option. If we go to the bottom, click on update. That will remove the search functionality there from the member directory. Now, the member directory shows us a list of the users or the members of our website. We can customize what that list is going to display. Now, you can see the first user is myself, the administrator account. The second user is a user called Beth Simmons. As an administrator, we could then come in and add Beth as a friend, or we could follow her here within the new social features in .NET Nuke 6.2. What we also want to do, though, is we want to add a hyperlink for the user's website to their profile. So if the user has a website, then it'll show up here in their display card in the member directory. Now, to do that, we need to go back into the Manage button and go to the Settings option. In the settings for the module, what we're going to end up doing is customizing the item template and the alternate item template for the member directory module. And within Chrome here, I can go ahead and expand that text box a little bit so we can see the items within the template currently. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new list item here after this MD location. MD location is currently the location information for a user, their city, their state, their region, if they have that chosen. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an additional item there, a new list item. And I've already typed up the information here. But essentially what we're doing is we're adding a new list item. We provided a class called MD website. That class is not currently defined anywhere. We could define that within our skin or within our portal.css files. After that, we're adding a hyperlink. Now you'll notice the href is empty here, but then we're using data binding to pass in information for that hyperlink. We're going to pass in information for the hyperlink's title as well as the href. So we're passing in a website property here. That's going to get the website profile information from the user and display that. Now inside of the hyperlink, we also want to then show the text of the website. And we have that provided here with a span and then more data binding using the text attribute on that span tag. Now we want to add that information to both of the templates, both the item template and the alternating item template. So I'll just paste that information in here. And if we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page now and click on update, that's going to save the settings here for the member directory. As the page refreshes, you can see that my user account now shows a URL associated with my domain or with my user. Beth Simmons doesn't have a URL defined as her for her website in her profile, but as soon as she were to add one, it would then show up in the member card here as well. 